the world order was made in 1945 at the end of a war. And civil war can begin a new order in certain, inside of a country, like the Chinese civil war began their new order inside the country, 1949. After the fight of how the system works, it's a, it's a great leveler. It gets rid of a lot of the debts um, and it starts over. And then there's a new power. Um, in the United States, the new world order, it was an American world order because the United States won World War II. It had 80% of the world's gold. Gold was money. It had the dominant uh, military power. It had nuclear weapons. And because of that, we began the American world order. First thing, is you realize that uh, holding cash and dead assets is a bad thing. So a lot of um, money uh, is in cash because people think that cash is the safest investment, but they are measuring that in the amount of money that they get nominal returns. And they say it doesn't wiggle much. But think about it, um, it's lost as of the most recent statistics, eight and a half percent over the last, um, inflation is eight and a half percent and they receive virtually no interest rate in cash. And so there was an eight and a half percent loss of buying power as a result of inflation. And so psychology should change and is in the process of changing to realize that you have to think in terms of buying power, not the number of dollars you have. Mm -hmm. And you have to think um, how much uh, are your, is your buying power. And so the worst thing is to be in cash. Like I say, cash is trash. And to be, in to, uh, and to be out of uh, the bonds. Um, the next thing is to have a diversified portfolio of assets. Um, the diversification, uh, some assets that are inflation hedge prone. For example, you're better off to own an inflation index bond than a regular bond. I think the punchline is, if you take a look at it, uh, it's, in, it's simple. It's uh, like a regular bond, except um, its payments are linked to the inflation. So they compensate you for inflation. So the, is this a government bond? Yeah, government bond. Okay. And there are some tax advantages to them too. So look into them. Okay. And why don't people just flood into that? Well, um, I think it's, it's one type of asset. The flooding into any one thing is, a, is an issue. But, the, but moving from the nominal bonds in which the government just says, I'll give you this amount of money and it has the unbelievable unbelievable and unlimited ability to print the money it gives you, um, it would favor inflation index bonds. Um, and it could be other assets. Uh, you know, some people would say something in terms of cryptocurrencies or it might be um, uh, the, those other assets. I think that too much pe people pay too much attention to one uh, at, at the extreme of the other, you know, um, that either somebody's all crypto um, or they're all gold or they're all something. And I, uh, I believe that that's a challenge. I think that um, uh, crypto like gold is not a productivity earning asset and it can be controlled by governments uh, in lots of ways. It's been outlawed in a number of places and it also can be monitored. The privacy um, element is not uh, secure from governments doing monitoring and, and, and so, um, and the size of crypto is about the size of um, Microsoft. You know, it's all crypto combined. And so to um, be overly concentrated in it, in my opinion, is a mistake, um, uh, but to have some of it uh, is a good it is a good thing. So the question is always, uh, what amount of it? So that's uh, uh, you know I have a little bit about it. I'd probably shock you about how little I have. <laughs> you shocked me about how much how much you have, uh, but having some of it. Um, 
So the um, and other things I would say is that geographic location is important. In other words, not just all in U.S. and U.S. dollar assets. Um, I would say that the three things that that again I'm looking at if I go down countries is first. Um, are they earning more than they're spending? Do they have a good income statement and balance sheet? This is going to be very important in the period of head, ahead because the amount of credit that's going to be available to bridge the gap between spending and earning uh, cash flows and so on is going to be a quite narrower. So a lot of companies even that were able to raise cash um, and not have good cash flow because of maybe growth expectations in the future, we'll find it more difficult. That'll be true for individuals. It'll be true for um, countries. So is it, does it have a good income statement and balance sheet will be important. The second is um, places. How are they working with each other? Is there civil civility or is there civil war on the brink of civil war? because countries where they work well together, they're productive, are gonna have a real competitive advantage. You can start off with, and I, I, and I think this is most important, what's your strategic asset allocation mix? And then it's like going to the poker table. And then you say, what is my angle? Where's my, ec where do I get to take money away from others? Cause I'm better at it, okay? But you start, everybody should start with a balanced portfolio, okay? Most everybody, they have careers to do. And, and, and I think they're arrogant. They think they can go in there and they can take money away. Maybe some can, but if you're gonna play that game, um, the first thing is um, also test your decision rules. Um, don't just go in and then you say, I'm gonna wing it. And, 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 and do it and um, because you won't even have enough sample size in your decision rules to know whether you're good at it or bad at it. What, after the first five times, you're gonna pronounce how you are. It's a learning experience, just like any other learning experience to develop your expertise. What I find is really important is to take my decision rules and test how they would have performed in the past to at least give me my, some perspective of what I, I might expect in the future. But you have to think through a game plan and operate that way. So I, by and large, would say, first, the, um, the most important things you could do are actually the simplest thing you could do, to build that strategic asset allocation mix, not to be out in there day trading your life's fortune away.